100 years ago, the guns fell silent. After four brutal years, the bloodiest conflict the world had ever known came to an abrupt end. Canadian soldiers helped turn the tide of the First World War and were instrumental in its closing act. But victory came at a terrible cost. Before there was peace, there were sacrifices in the air, on the sea, and in the trenches. At Ypres in 1915, when clouds of chlorine gas littered Flanders fields with thousands of dead. In 1916, through heavy losses in the Battle of the Somme. At Vimy Ridge in April 1917, where the four Canadian divisions fought together for the first time and secured a key victory. And amid the mud and shelling at Passchendaele in the fall of 1917. The Canadian Corps never lost a battle in the final two years of the war and earned a reputation of being the best attacking Allied force on the Western Front. The contributions of Canadian soldiers turned the war's final days into Canada's hundred days. Canadian soldiers were at the vanguard of the decisive Allied advance in the summer and fall of 1918 when our battle-tested army showed remarkable skill, courage, and tenacity. They liberated villages and pushed the enemy back at a staggering rate. Over that final hundred days, Canadian soldiers won crucial battles that helped break the Hindenburg Line, Germany's last main line of defense. Then, on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the guns fell silent on the Western Front. The signing of the armistice ended the fighting between the Allies and Germany. The horrors of war finally gave way to jubilation and peace. The Allies' victory was a defining moment in world history. More than 650,000 Canadian men and women served in uniform between 1914 and 1918, from a country of less than 8 million citizens. More than 66,000 Canadians and Newfoundlanders were killed, and 170,000 wounded, on the ground, in the air, and at sea. Close to 20% of Canada's dead and wounded came in the final hundred days. But from the death of so many came the birth of a nation, a prouder country, and a new, stronger Canadian identity on the world stage. A country whose brave servicemen and women demonstrated unflinching valor, and a willingness to sacrifice everything to defend values we still cherish today peace and freedom. We remember their courage and sacrifices, and we promise to never forget. <laughs>